everybody coming from Jan's world and today we're making cheesecake I have you my asked. you asked and I am making it and I have my sous chef here helping me she is hard at work opening the cream cheese okay first we are going to make the crust first of all we are you need to get a spring foam pan see it's got that little buckle thing on it and that's what you need to cook the cheesecake in. We are going to start with one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs. I just use um, Kroger brand. It's simple but you can use uh, you know you can hammer up real graham cracker crumbs if you want. <laughs> hammer um, up. Hammer, yeah, you hammer up. Three tablespoons of melted butter and two tablespoons of sugar. And we're gonna mix that up. Now that it is done mixing, we are going to take it off and press it into the pie pan. We have our graham cracker crust all pressed into the pie plate and now we are going to do the cream cheese. My sous chef is putting it in. This is great having the sous chef. And mix that up by the locket. So three bricks of cream cheese one cup of sugar. I might have to pay my sous chef more if she's going to be doing all the work. And three eggs. Go ahead, I'll make some after. You put a bowl. And one teaspoon of vanilla. Plus it all in. And it's that done. That is not done. You guys don't think that's done? You guys don't think that's done? Okay, now we are going to whip that for a minute or two so it's nice and creamy. So. whipping it's getting nice and fluffy we are going to turn it off and we are going to pour it over the crust put it so in i've smoothed it all out and it's going to go in an oven at 375 degrees for 50 to 60 minutes but one thing i want to tell you is that when i put cheesecake in the oven i do not want the bottom to burn so i put it in with a pan of water and I put the cheesecake right in. It's a cookie sheet. It's a cookie sheet, but I put it right in the water. Just put a little bit, just so it doesn't uh, burn. Chef. <laughs> and look what she just did. She was gonna put the graham cracker crumbs away. She made a mess, but her toenails look good. Be sure that you don't pick it up by the top because then it'll come off and fall on the floor. So pick it up by the middle. It looks like it's done. A little golden brown on the top. And I'm gonna take it out and turn the oven up to 500 degrees. Now we are going to put in one pint, which is 16, 16 ounces of sour cream. I do natural because it has less <laughs> sodium. Um, my sous chef is just sitting there watching me struggle with the camera and the... Here's the real spoon. This probably will work. I can take this. Okay. And so 16 ounces of sour cream, two tablespoons of sugar, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. We are going to mix that up really well. And put it over the pie and then put it in the oven for five minutes. I know that doesn't seem like very much, it's not but pie -ish. Ish. <laughs> it's 
so it's, we're going to put it, the cheesecake in the oven for five minutes at 500 degrees just to kind of set up the sour cream and then we're going to let it cool and then we're going to put it in the refrigerator overnight. Now we are going to, my sous chef is going to pour the sour cream mixture over the top and this cheesecake rose really high so we don't want it to overflow but it's not gonna get any higher so don't have to worry about that okay Why not? That's probably it actually all fit and we are now going to put it in the oven at 500 degrees for five minutes okay I just took it out of the oven now I'm gonna let it cool and when it cools off, I will put it in the refrigerator overnight. If you're gonna make this in the morning and then wanna have it for after dinner that night, or for dinner, because it's so good, you have to be done with it by noon. You, it needs a good four to six hours to be cold, and it's so much better when it's really cold. So we will let this cool, and we will have it tomorrow and I will put some strawberries on it and we will even be showing how much our guest likes it. When you... <clears throat> when, when you take your pie out of the refrigerator, before you undo this latch, run a knife around the outside of it, all the way down. I kind of messed it up there, but just to make sure it's gonna come out nice and clean, and then you pray. It's kinda of hard to do one-handed because my sous chef is getting her nails done. There we go. And the cheesecake is complete. I'm gonna put some strawberries on it because my mom's friend is coming over, Aunt Mary Lou, and her daughter Chris, and we want it to look pretty. And there you have it. I just cut up some strawberries and decorated it, covered up my little boo-boo on the side there, and it should be delicious. And it should be delicious. I will let everybody see what it looks like when the guests try it. Hey, let's see how it is. This is Chris. What do you think? Mmm. <laughs> delicious. Okay, Aunt Mary Lou. <laughs> This is my mom's best friend from kindergarten. kindergarten. <laughs> or before, probably, right? Mm. <laughs> mm. Delicious. Should they make it? Okay, Nanner, my sous chef. <laughs> <laughs> should I punch her now or should I punch her later? What do you mean? <laughs> it's only okay? No, it's good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs>